Hello, my name is Andrea Coleman and I am going to demonstrate for you how to make this felt making kit with llamas. Everything you need is in this box here which is available from www.artfelt.co.uk In the box you will find 10 different colours of merino fleece to make your picture, also pure merino yarns that are absolutely right for using in conjunction with the groovy mat to make the saddles, a foam felting needle, soap, some thin plastic, instructions, templates, curly fibres for their tails and heads and also silk fibres for the llamas. Right, to start this demo I'm going to show you how to make the white pre-felt for your white llamas. Before we even start, make your soapy water so it's ready when we need it. Get the fleece and then just take a small amount away through the long bit and put it to one side, we'll need it later. Then with what you've got left behind, divide it in half like this and then take that one quarter like that and then I'm going to show you how to lay the first layer so you just trap it and pull it away trap it pull it away trap it pull it away So this is the first layer, I'm now going to quarter turn it and start putting the fleece down across. So doing exactly the same again. I've completed the second layer and I've added a small amount of grey to one end and now I'm just adding the silk fibres, the white ones, to this and it will be ready to get wet in a second. I'm now getting it wet with the soapy water. Make sure it's nice and warm and thoroughly wet it down. Then you can get your thin plastic, lay it on top and press down. After patting down for several minutes we can now start to rub. You just add a little bit of soapy water to the top of your thin plastic and then slide your hands across your work. You do this for one minute and then you quarter turn all your work and repeat in this direction and then quarter turn again and do a last quarter turn so each time you spend a minute doing this and then we will test it to see if it's ready. After a while your hands will move up and down with the thin plastic that's absolutely fine and you can be quite tough with it. After you've finished rubbing your work, um, have a pinch of it and see if it can all come up like this. It's ready to um, put aside. It's quite common the first time you felt that actually yours is still very loose and just repeat the four minutes a bit more vigorously. To make the brown llamas, I've laid down the light brown and a bit of the 
mid brown. So it's about two thirds light brown, one third mid brown. So I have laid the fibres for my first layer was in a horizontal direction and now the second layer has been in a vertical direction. Most of it's in the light brown. I've got a section in the mid brown and then I've used a small amount of the dark brown at the very end. Do not use all your dark brown up though because we'll need it later. And now I'm adding some of the silk fibres the goldeny coloured ones and then I'm going to carry on as I did with the white llama felt with soap and water and rubbing in exactly the same way. Now we're going to make the saddle. Using the yellow groovy mat and your colourful yarns we can cut these up using this as a guide for the length about five, five clusters is perfect. We'll need the rest a bit later. Then we get a bowl of the soapy water and absolutely saturate them in. And then you can use the grooves to place them along the mats in any colour order you like. So using a small amount of the white that you've just got left over from making the llamas previously, we are now going to put a thin layer going in the opposite direction of your stripes. And then we're going to get it wet and Put the thin plastic on top and it's really important that we spend a long time at least five minutes just patting this down because we don't want the stripes to move I've patted and I've also rubbed this the white side of your saddle I've taken the thin plastic off and now I'm going to turn the whole thing over and peel off the yellow mat. You might find some of the fibres need to be cut free. Don't pull them. And then turn it round, put your thin plastic back on and rub in the direction of the stripes for about two minutes. Your stripey felt should now be ready to be put aside and dried. I've prepared the colours that we're going to use in the background for the landscape. The lightest pale blue for the sky in three parts, the mid blue in two parts, the blue green in three parts, the moss in two parts and the olive remains in one part. I'm going to take one part of the sky blue and one part of the blue green. That will be our first layer. One part of the sky blue, the mid blue, and one part of the blue green and one part of the moss. That will be layer number two and the rest will make up layer number three. I will start using the lightest sky blue colour. I'm going to divide this in two and I'm going to work in a horizontal direction and I'm going to trap and pull away. I'm going to do this to about halfway down the bubble wrap and then I'm going to carry on with the blue-green. 
I've created my first layer using the lightest sky blue and the blue green colour and it's quite thin. I'm now going to cover it with a second layer going in the vertical direction. I've put a very thin layer um, of the lightest sky blue and now I'm going to cover that over the top with the darker sky blue colour just by pulling out thin bits I'm now doing exactly the same as I did at the top with the blue-green along the bottom. I'm now doing exactly the same as we did at the sky but now with the moss colour right at the bottom. So I've started my third layer. I started with the lightest blue, sky blue, and then I added the darker sky blue, and then I added the blue green colour, and it's really important that the, they all mingle together, and now I'm going to add the moss colour to this as well, and I will also add a little bit of olive to this. And then if you like, you can cut up a little bit of the leftover yarn you had and we can sprinkle it on in a second. I've sprinkled a little bit of the cut up pieces of yarn left over from the saddle and also I've I put very, very thin amounts of the olive on top. Just be careful of the really bright colours, they can really zing out. <laughs> 